what I want. Both on your back and from top. Guillotines are all over. Kind of like triangles are all over. Arm bars are all over. Guillotines really are all over. And with those, guess what? Guess what presents themselves out of guillotines? Head and arm triangles. They really do. Because people start getting their arm up to defend the guillotine. Because we know that in jujitsu, the better people just know. I'm gonna go for this, knowing that their defenses have to be this, but I know what to do right after that. And that's the game of jujitsu. As we get better and better, you're just like in chess, right? People always say, oh man, uh, jujitsu is chess with the human body. That's a great way to put it. You're steps ahead, and that's really what it is. I'm gonna go for this, knowing their reaction is one of these few things, but I train for those things off of that. And I don't just train it, I don't just go over it a couple of times and think I have it. We train it all the time, we go over stuff. There's a reason why your coach is here. I know some of you guys from other schools, there's a reason why your coaches have you drill and stuff. When I was training with Boyce Gracie, he was, I got my blue belt from Boyce Gracie, okay? He made us do rear naked chokes for like 20 minutes each. We had to sit there and drill 20, and I'm just thinking as a young, you know, younger white belt at this time, man, this looks so boring, but now I understand. The more you're doing something, it has to become second nature. If you think you're gonna be a good jiu jujitsu when you're thinking the entire time, you're not. Your body just has to react. So when you guys are drilling this, you know, you take it your time at first, boom. Really understand why it's working, boom. And then you start adding a little more to it. When you leave here today, next time you guys grapple, you guys are gonna be just naturally just going for that and you're gonna see like, man, I might not be catching all these chokes right now, but just controlling the spine alone and attacking the neck and make them react in ways I haven't really, you know what I'm saying? They have to react. Even good level people have to protect their necks when you start attacking it right away. It's just what it is. When that happened, all right, Katie, let me show, uh, I'm just gonna show you guys a couple things real fast. Then you'll learn, listen, this is what you'll learn from guard. I don't wanna spend, I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time on this, but this is what you'll learn basic eating on the guard. I know that I can't just get a guillotine with her hands on me, so you learn to open here, right? You can use it as a sit up, a sit up sweep, you know, dread the sit up sweep, which is right here, right? Like I sit through. But the guillotine comes from when we come up into them, we start getting the neck. Okay? So this is what you learn. You learn to come up and wrap your arm around and then come back. Now, when you come up and wrap your arm around, see the face, I sit back because guess what someone's gonna do when I come up into them? I, I pop back. And guess what? Have you guys ever been on those ab roller things where you go out and like, like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> even though even you guys with the eight packs know what I'm talking about, you're still like, your arm starts shaking. That would never happen to me though. <laughs> so look, I open, I come up, and whenever I'm grabbing something, I might just be right here playing this game right here. I love putting my foot, uh, letting them feel right here because I want them coming into me. And I put their body pressure forward because when their body pressure is forward, that's where their neck's gonna be exposed. Head down, bone. She's like, she's like, put pressure here. She starts like trying passes, and I scoop back. And look at this shoulder. How it pops up naturally overhead because the only way she gets out of this is you pop her head up. Boom. Oh man, got it, right? So I'll be like right here playing this game right here. I'll just get over, and then look. I pause here and I scoop back. People are weak when they're falling forward. And guess what? If she doesn't use her hand, like if she doesn't. If she has to use her hands to stop. And when people use their hands to stop, their neck are exposed. Even if she's had arms in protecting her neck, she's still weak here. She's still weak here regardless. So I, you can't just be like, here guys playing, just be like, ugh, ugh. Get over the head, your shoulder over the head, get a throw in the neck, scoop that ball, and look how she falls forward. Even if I don't get the guillotine for some reason, put your arm on the ball. What happened out of this is like sweeps. It's like sweeps, other arm, and I can go on all day about how this game just evolves into more stuff just by simple getting their body off balance, bringing their neck, controlling their spine, getting them off balance. I don't know if you guys noticed this yet. There's you that are doing jujitsu, but you catch people, meaning you tap them out when they're off balance. That's the most times you catch people when you're. Why do you think we have guard on people? Come here, please. We have this guard not to just sit here and keep them still. We get people off balance. We need to get them off balance so they're changing up there so they don't have that strength and that balance. And that's where you're gonna start catching them, the arm bars and the triangles. Leave them off. This is slow motion, of course. It can be like I'm showing this right here for a reason. Because this is also this. It's also this. 
So let's do this. While this is the same. <clears throat> Half guard, another position. I'll be threatening, threatening him. And I'll beat you and they're thinking, they're getting their elbow in. And then this is what I'll do. I have my base, I have this arm over, shucking her forward, boom, and she's off balance. My hands under, I have a chip. And I can even finish here, ball, have the full full guard, and the sweep. So, yes, we know the choke comes from getting that grip around the neck, but to get that and make them weak so their neck's exposed and they're weak and they have to protect or put their hands out, that's your legs and hips. That's what you're gonna do with your partner. Because we're gonna expand after this too. I'm just moving the point right here because most people might be like pushing here, blah, blah. So I get them off. Oh, I, get, I always get the arms off. Why? Because I wanna go for sit up sweeps. I wanna go for here. I wanna get choked. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, you can be working other stuff. Oh, of course. Or well, you can start here. There's a little more. You know what? I don't need to start going right now. You're right here. They start moving forward, head down. So she's like working her passes as she would. All right. I have to pop my butt back. That's literally, I'm making a big point of popping the butt back because I think about all the chokes I get and it's because the pop of the butt back. Most people get here and they'll be here and they stay tight and start doing this. There's a huge difference between me cranking from here and having here. You're gonna feel it. When you get with your partner a second, you're gonna feel how when, their body, when your body weight comes forward, how much more exposed and weak you are. So we start the one for these guillotines more, you guys. <clears throat> think about it. Think about when you get these head and arm chokes. In. What am I doing? Bringing our body forward. So you're going to be here. Once you come up, this is coming over behind her head. Scoot back. My arm, this is what I'm feeling and thinking. I know. And if I get her chin across, she's weak. You guys notice that when I really just look at the arm bar, you don't just go here and throw the leg over. What do you do? You get here, you control the head, you push on the chin because people are weak. She's strong when her chin's facing me where she wants to go. But when you're pushing on the chin away, but with her. Lay down, Katie. Turn towards me. Turn towards me, seriously. People are watching. You're strong. She's strong. No, because her chin's the other way. When you guys are controlling people's chins more, Making them weak. This is a big part of the guillotine. Yes, we're going around the neck, but as we're setting it up, we're going through the neck and the chin. Uh, Good luck. Watch as this arm goes over, how it's getting that chin. Watch. I'm on that chin, that little sensor I told you about is popping that chin. And I'm here. And I'm literally like this to my body. And you're going to pay attention. Because this really good mount guillotine I'm going to show you next. This is huge. This is this here. So you with a partner, and I know, listen, I know I say a lot of points. I know I say a lot of little things. As long as you're taking some of these right now, that's what's important. We'll put all the rest later. We'll go more later. You can pass it on. So don't feel bad about, man, oh man. Too much, too much, too much. I would rather give you guys a lot of things to think about because certain things you take today might help you with something else. Something you haven't thought about before. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being straight up. Like, I, 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 I don't feel bad about not catching every little thing. Okay, he said, pop her forward. He said, control the chin. And now he said, get that form through. Blah, 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 blah. There's some, don't, don't feel bad about that. Let's get the basic stuff. Can you do more advanced, you guys? I expect that. Both arms to one side, because some people are going to be like this. That's how it works. Get to this elbow. Look at this. This is a huge base in jujitsu. If my elbow's in, I fall over easy. She's just going to come right back into me. But when this elbow's here, come into me, it doesn't make me fall right away. Just like here is an anchor. And just so you know, here, I want to move back. Here, I don't want to move back. Just by this hand turn. Here, I'm going to move back. Here, I want to post. Does that make sense to you guys? Mm -hmm. 
I want to move back. So when you guys are doing your warm-ups, you're here. These little things make huge, huge changes as you guys go up. These little, little things. When you start seeing your black level, these black belts here, wrong with other, these little details make the biggest, and as you, biggest difference. And especially for like Greg and these other guys at a higher level, when we go fight other black belts, those are the little things that make the biggest difference. So imagine if you apply it to people that aren't that. strongest part of my body and drive my hips up. Mm. Guys, when you have a good choke on somebody and then you bring your hips, that's how you have to choke. Get a partner, let's go.